I do documentary portraiture, documentary sculpture. Once I find an artist or a person or uh, an occupation that um, I'm really fascinated by, I delve deeply into what their life is about, what their work is about, and try to make a sculpture that encompasses all of those elements and tells their story. Uh, quite frankly, I, I work uh, six, seven days a week. Uh, I get to the studio around 9, 9.15 in the morning. I leave around six in the afternoon. I go home for lunch for a little bit. But um, three things that are important for me in life. Um, my family, my studio and work, and my friends. Is a poster from an exhibition from 1969 in Oklahoma City. And um, I just recently found it when I was scavenging through a box of old stuff and I thought it was wild to see what I looked like back in 1969. <laughs> you didn't change some more. <laughs> Glass is not uh, necessarily uh, totally central to my work, although it appears in, in uh, most of my pieces since 1983. But before 1983, and when I, when I began my professional career in the late 1960s, I worked in bronze and wood. And uh, I did that until I got an idea to do a sculpture about Imogen Cunningham who was a photographer who worked in, uh, with an 8x10 view camera and her uh, images were on glass plates, the negatives were on glass plates. And because of that I got an idea to do her on a glass plate and that began my evolution in working in glass. This piece is actually a portrait of Anselm Kiefer, but it's also a message of hope, something like what occurred during World War II would never happen again. It's to remind people that it did happen and not to forget it. It's not the central, but it exists. In English. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to keep this, uh, this footage. <laughs>